All right, everyone, we got a couple massive brand new Nintendo Switch stories that just dropped today that we got to talk about, starting with a good news update around Nintendo Switch Online, because if you've been around on the channel, you know that recently I have not been a fan of the service, but in today's video, I can at least commend Nintendo on one additional offering that they have added into the service. And then the big talking point for today's video is a brand new confirmed release date for Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and what this means for the larger conversation of when we can expect Nintendo to to hold their next direct presentation. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join some Road Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we are covering just a couple stories today, but they are both massive ones in my opinion, and I want to kick it off with some good news around Nintendo Switch Online, because as I mentioned, if you've been around on the channel for a while, you will know that I have no problem criticizing Nintendo and calling them out when I think they are dropping the ball on something, and I do personally still feel that way with the expansion pack where it stands right now in the terms of their overall asking price and the value that they are bringing to the table and you also have to remember that they are still charging $20 a year annual for their base service which sees very few and far between value added in but in today's video I can report that there has been some good news around the base service package as we are getting a brand new game trial for a full week available and it, this launches tomorrow and it is for Captain Toad Treasure Track which you know still sells for $40 I think it's on sale in the eShop right now for like 27 but it's still a pricier Nintendo title it's one of their first party titles and it's something that we don't typically see provided as a free game trial and the one criticism is that I wish Nintendo would do stuff like this on a schedule where we knew we were getting one or two free games to try out for a week from time to time but regardless this is still good news at the end of the day in my opinion and a step in the right direction on what they need to continue to do to the service to keep it competitive with the other guys because you have to remember Nintendo's not the only one charging for online services like you can look at the competitors and see a clear lack in offerings for what Nintendo is doing to what the other guys are so to kick off this conversation I do want to quickly hop over to Nintendo everything where they have the exact details of this promotion when it launches the exact time frame and when you can hop into the eShop and actually check out this game for free for a full week yourself so let's quickly read through that article together Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is the next Switch Online game trial in North America. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker will soon be entirely free for Switch Online subscribers in North America during a limited period under the game trial program Nintendo has announced. Those with an active subscription can gain full access starting on January 13th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time or 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Any progress made can be transferred to the full version. The trial will be held until January 20th at 1159 Pacific Time or January 21st at 259 AM Eastern Time. Here's some additional information about the game. Captain Toad stars in his own puzzling quest on the Nintendo Switch system. Our stubby hero must dodge dangers and track treasures across many trap-filled courses, survive smoldering volcanoes, hazardous steam engines, haunted houses, and even new courses based on the Super Mario Odyssey game. Luckily, a second player can join by tossing turnips at enemies. It's also worth noting that other than the Nintendo Switch Online Trial, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is having a sale on the Switch eShop. It can be purchased for 30% off until January 16th at 11.59 Pacific Time or January 17th at 2.59 AM Eastern Time. So while this isn't the first time we've seen Nintendo do this game trial program, it is at least reassuring to see more titles and some of their own first party IPs actually make it over to this list because you have to keep in mind how long some of these games have been out. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker was actually a Wii U title originally that of course received a port over to the Nintendo Switch, which by the way, while we're talking about Wii U ports, what are Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD still doing stuck on the Wii U only? It's ridiculous. I hope Nintendo ports those over, but that's neither here nor there. I still like to see them offer additional value for existing subscribers that are continuing to pay the $20 annual price or maybe have it on the monthly subscription. But regardless, we don't see them talk about NES and SNES updates anymore. And we we also haven't seen them add in any kind of new consoles, maybe like the base Game Boy or Game Boy Color system to this base subscription service, which I think they still have to support when they are charging a active monthly fee. And you can say that that monthly fee is just for the access to online gameplay mode.
closely but again i just want to commend nintendo when they do actually do something to add additional value to the service and i think these game trial programs are at least a step in that direction as you know it's not as nice as what sony and microsoft provide for their online services where you actually do get access to adding a full game to your library and you'll keep it as a full free game like sony does three every month on playstation plus xbox normally has a few as well i think they might be at three also and you get to add them to your library and just keep them as long as you're a subscriber and you remain active on your payments of course but with nintendo's case you know this is at least a step towards that as it is just a seven day trial period but you know you can beat a game in seven days if you actually like it or maybe you you do end up you know getting halfway through the game and then you want to pick it up on a sale after you're done at least you got exposed to a brand new title that you wouldn't have access to otherwise without choosing to spend your own hard-earned money on it so again this is good news in my book something else to look forward to starting tomorrow on nintendo switch online you can hop into the eShop and pick it up yourself and i do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below if you are a fan of this game trial program or if you just think that nintendo is still really behind the times when it comes to their online service and even though you see promotions like this from time to time you're really just still not having it and still are not happy with the overall experience so i want to hear from you regardless of where you fall on this issue and also if you will be picking up captain toad's treasure tracker or if you played the game already and share your thoughts around it as well as i will definitely be picking this up tomorrow as part of the game trial program so please share all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below around this topic now, the next story we're talking about today is kind of a two-part situation because one, we have an official confirmation for Kirby and the Forgotten Land as far as release date, and we even got a brand new gameplay trailer, which has no business looking as good as it does. Like, I'm really pumped about this game after this trailer, and we'll go over all of that together. But then I also want to broaden the conversation with what this release date of March of 25th is we can now confirm that that is when this game will launch actually means for the conversation of when can we expect the next Nintendo direct to take place because if you've been around on the channel for a while you may have seen a previous video and I personally up to this point have been talking about mid February being the most likely and I think now that we have this late January launch title for Kirby I think we can actually confirm that or at least expect it to not take place until February or March but we will dive through all of that I do want to kick it off by quickly hopping over to VGC where they have all of the new details that have dropped today around Kirby and the Forgotten Land and just share my overall experience on this trailer what I thought about it and my overall hype levels now because I will absolutely be picking up this game day one when it launches on March 25th but let's quickly read through that article together Kirby in the Forgotten Land gets a March release date and a new trailer Nintendo's upcoming open world Kirby game includes co-op gameplay Nintendo has released a new trailer for Kirby in the Forgotten Land and confirmed its release date. The game will be available on Nintendo Switch on March 25th, not the 23rd. It is a typo that VGC put there. Nintendo confirmed it is the 25th. The new trailer also shows off co-op gameplay for the first time, with Player 2 able to control a bandana Waddle Dee to help Kirby on his mission. Kirby will be able to inhale enemies to gain their abilities as usual, and the trailer, which can be seen below, shows off some new abilities like the Drill, which lets him drill into the ground and attack enemies from beneath and Ranger, which lets him attack distant enemies. The game was announced during a Nintendo Direct presentation in September of 2021, but there has been no further information until today. The game sees Kirby arriving in an unknown land where he discovers that Waddle Dees are being kidnapped by a group of villains called the Beast Pack. It's up to Kirby and his new friend to rescue the Waddle Dees. Rather than the typical 2D side-scrolling platform Kirby is known for, this game will be a 3D platformer in which players will be able to freely move around in 3D arenas using familiar Kirby copy abilities. Nintendo says the new game world is a land where nature and a past civilization have fused in a series of areas packed with platforming challenges. It also includes Waddle Dee Town, the game's central hub which develops as more Waddle Dees are rescued. Early last year, Kirby developer HAL Laboratory said it was looking forward to sharing the mascot's next phase with fans. So first off, this trailer has no business looking this good as it's just a true up 3D open world Kirby game. And I couldn't be more excited for this. Like honestly, now that Nintendo has put out the new information and the co-op play, my only one concern is I hope that the difficulty is there in this game because over the course of time with Kirby games, we traditionally see them marketed towards younger kids in some cases. And it just kind of takes me out of the experience when I know there's no threat of death in the game. But outside of that, maybe they add in difficulty settings. Maybe it just is a 
hard game and it has some truly unique enticing boss battles regardless as long as the challenge is there with this game it is a day one purchase for me and now i want to transition and pivot the conversation to why i think this trailer dropping with the march 25th release date also can all but confirm that we are not going to see a nintendo direct take place in the month of january because if you've been around for a while you know we've discussed this before and there's a lot of fan speculation that either january february or march if you look at it historically nintendo will hold their first direct of the year and i think that this trailer would have dropped at a january direct if we were getting it at all so of course right now it is january 12th at the time of filming this video i think it is safe to say that early february is the very soonest we could possibly see this direct hit if not into early march so that's kind of where i'm landing on my personal predictions i want to hear from you guys in the comments down below what you personally are hoping for from the next nintendo direct and which games you have are most hyped for going into 2022 because clearly with this new kirby information and the overview trailer we got today nintendo has a stacked 2022 we already have to talk about pokemon legends arceus hitting the end of this month and now we got this new kirby gameplay trailer and we know it's dropping the end of march like what else is in store for 2022 god forbid if nintendo goes over some new titles at this direct that we don't know about up to this point in time so as i mentioned guys at this point in the video i want to hear from you on all your personal thoughts and speculation on when the next nintendo direct will take place whether or not you're getting kirby in the forgotten land on day one like i am and which games you're most hyped for overall in 2022 as we go forward so i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all on all the topics we talked about in today's video in the comments down below thanks so much for watching the video today everyone i do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end i do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join summer nation if you haven't done so already do so by subscribing below hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news that's gonna do it for me guys i hope you all have a great day summer nation out